Greetings and welcome to tutorial number 3. We will continue from where we left. Okay. Copied it. Okay. After this, we will simply type make install. That is to install our package. Okay, so it took me somewhere around 3 4 minutes. Okay. It's done. Let's just clear it out. Okay, we'll what is this? I'm not getting it. Okay, this file has this video distribution on package into GCC source directory and rename it. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll just we'll just go back. Okay, clear. Now we'll have to extract our GCC. Uh, GCC, what do they package? Okay, for that now here they have seen that there are uh, it requires three packages basically and what we are going to do is we are going to get into our GCC folder and then extract this folders into uh, into our GCC what do you say whatever into our GCC folder and then what we are going to do is there will be a folder named MPFR, GMP and MPC and we'll extract this uh, after extracting this uh, packages we'll just move them directly into the respective folders ok come on For guys who are trying this the first time, uh, what I would recommend is you directly copy paste uh, from the guide itself. If you try typing and everything, it's just my recommendation that go, don't go for typing the first time because you are new to this stuff and you might create some mistake. And as you can, uh, as you know or you don't know. But what I would like to say is if you commit a mistake over here you will just have to do the whole process from scratch again. So it's just my suggestion don't go for typing the first time because uh, it's a general mindset that you can create a mistake anytime like it, it can be what do you say it can be totally because you have done something wrong or you have done something wrong or basically you not because I'm not saying that it's because of you did something purposely so just be aware and okay so it's good to just take the whole block itself Okay, this is done. Now we'll go with this. Alright. Okay, this went well. I will make a directory called build and get into a directory build. Okay, we'll configure it. make file is done so I suppose it's make now you can see that there are two commands which is make and make install generally you will see that this commands come hand in hand so 
what I would suggest is just type this command and then uh, what do you say after completion of this command make command it will continue with make install command so it will save you a bunch of time all right okay so next package is linux i think it's the kernels api used by gripc okay I think this will take a bit of time. What I'll like to do is I'll pause the video here and we'll continue in some time. Well, coming back, uh, it took me roughly around 10 to 15 minutes as compared to what I have tried before, like on my Pentium machine, Pentium 4 machine. It took me 15 minutes for one SBU and roughly around 2 to 3 hours for compiling GCC. Okay, I'm so sorry. I thought I missed something. Okay. We'll go back and extract our Linux. Linux, alright. Okay, it's taking 0.1 SBU, so I suppose it will take less amount of time. Looks like it's taking one more than one SBU just to extract. Get into Linux. Okay, we'll say make MR proper. All right. Let's see what happens. It's done. Okay. Let's try this. Oh, it's building itself automatically. Okay, now this thing is going to take some time, which is 4 SPU, so roughly 5 minutes for me. Okay, this is done. Let's let's enter a GLIPC.
okay that's done we'll make a directory called build and get into build we'll configure the package some mistake gypsy sorry we had to get into glibc first then make the directory we directly made it outside the glibc directory that's the reason it didn't work okay we get into glibc okay we can get into a directory right now let's configure it now it says that there might be some warnings so then it's make make install okay Okay, so looks like there is no issue here. We'll just directly make and make install it. <laughs> Might take some time. Anyways, a uh, few further things I would like to explain it. What we are going to do is we are going to make a file which is uh name dummy.c and just fire up uh the main function that uh, is written generally in the c files and then what we are going to do is yeah we'll run with the gcc okay then we'll take out the what do you say i'm not sure what is or intermediate file which the compiler generates and then we'll see this we should get this as the output if we don't then we have screwed something up and it's as good as everything is failed so we'll have to start it again and yeah pretty much that much if it's if it uh, we get a desired output that is i'm using a 64 bit system so i'll be getting something like this and then i'll remove this file and continue with the compilation anyways uh, thank you guys for watching we'll continue the whole comp uh, what do you say this checking thing in the next video uh If you like what we did hit the like button if you dislike you know where it is subscribe for more uh, videos like this and just if you want to continue with the project you have to follow up on this video thank you guys for watching